Within Job Entry, the Job Production Quantity field displays how many parts will be manufactured on each job. But this field is confusing. You might think you can directly enter and update the job's quantity, but actually you can't change it. This video explains how this value is calculated and what you do to update it. The Job Production Quantity field is on the job card. It's the production field in the Quantities area. The system uses this total quantity to calculate material and operation requirements needed for manufacturing this job. You cannot edit this value. It only displays for your information. It also has an accompanying unit to measure, such as each, case, and cubic centimeters. This unit of measure value indicates how the production quantity is determined. It's defined on the part record and also cannot be changed here. So the unit of measure comes from the part record, but where does the job production quantity value come from? Well, it's actually the sum of the job's demand link quantities. Each job can have multiple make to stock, make to order, and make to job demand links. The system adds together the demand quantities created for order releases, inventory needs, and other jobs. This total value then displays in the production field. To edit this value, change the quantities on the job's demand links. So you really can control the job production quantity, just not directly. And if your company uses the Advanced Production Module, the production quantity is calculated through an additional sequential or concurrent processing mode. If the mode is sequential, the production quantity shows how many end parts will be produced on this job. But if the mode is concurrent, it displays how many final parts are manufactured by multiple operations. It does this by dividing the demand quantity by the yield per op value. For example, the demand quantity is 1000 and the yield per op value is 2. This means you actually get two parts for every single part you produce. So the job production quantity is 500. And there you have it. That's how the job production quantity is calculated.